Hello everyone, this is Fine from Awesome Tech Gaming Pro. I hope you all are well. Intel ARC A770, A750 and A580 graphics card official specifications revealed. High-end Alchemist ACM G10 GPUs up to 32 XZ cores and 16 GB GDDR6 memory. All three of these ARC cards will be launching this month, offering competitive performance and prices to gamers. The Intel Arc A7 and Arc A5 graphics card will be the only desktop families to make use of the ACM G10 Alchemist GPU die. There are three graphics cards featured in the desktop family that utilize this design including the Arc A770, Arc A750 and the Arc A580. Today Intel is taking the lead of its ARC A770, ARC A750 and ARC A580 graphics cards. In addition to that, following is all of the ARC official coverage that uh, I have reported so far. The Intel ARC Alchemist lineup will include the flagship ARC A770 which will feature the full SEM G10 GPU with the 32 XZ cores and a 256-bit bus interface. The Intel Arc A770 will feature both 16GB and 8GB flavors across a 256-bit bus interface and a TDB of 225W. The clock speeds for the card will be rated at 2.1GHz for the GPU and 17.5GB per second for the GDDR6 memory offering up to 560 gigabyte per second of bandwidth. It is expected to be positioned in the same performance category as the RTX 3060 Ti, but will offer slightly better performance. I have seen several benchmarks of the Arc A770 here and here. The graphics card is expected to cost between the $350 to $400 US dollar range. Let's talk about Intel Arc A750 graphics card. The second part is the Intel A Arc A750 which will also be equipped with an ACM G10 GPU but house 28 XZ cores, I mean 3584 arithmetic logic units and 28 ray tracing units, 8GB GDDR6 memory running across a 256-bit bus interface and a TDP target of 225W same as the arc a770 the card will feature a 2050 megahertz gpu and 16 gigabyte per second memory clock rate for an effective 512 gigabyte per second of bandwidth this gpu will aim for the geforce rtx 3060 series mobility options intel has shown the card to be an average five percent faster than the rtx 3060 across 48 modern titles intel states their Reference design will be part of their IBC or Intel branded card offerings, which utilize a reference PCB and cooler designed by Intel themselves and parts sourced from their partners and assembled in Malaysia. These limited edition products will be available on launch directly from retailers and e tailers. The graphics cards will be launched in key market regions. Both the Intel Arc A770 and Arc A750 graphics cards will come in limited edition flavors and also custom designs which will be available globally. The ARC A770 will be as high as the Alchemist line will go and if you were looking for more enthusiast variants then you would have to wait for the next generation Battlemess lineup. Let's talk about Intel ARC A580 graphics card. Intel ARC 5 lineup is expected to include just one variant. For now, the ARC A550, the graphics card is expected to feature 24 XZ cores, I mean 3072 arithmetic logic units, and will also feature 8 GB of GDDR6 memory across either a 256-bit wide bus interface at the same 16 GB per second clocks for 512 GB of bandwidth. The graphics card is expected to compete against the RTX 3050 and will be aiming at 200 to 300 US dollar segment with a TDP of 175 watt. It is likely that this variant will be one of the best sellers if it can be priced under the 250 US dollar bracket and close to 200 US dollar since that will put it close to the RX 6500 XT while offering better performance. 
and a finer feature set like AV1, XDSS, better ray tracing capabilities to name a few. Intel is planning to launch its ARC 7 series GPUs including the ARC A770 and ARC A750 later this month, while the ARC A580 will be launching later in the coming quarter. So stay tuned for the more information on the Intel ARC lineup. So that's it from now. If you like this video, please subscribe and press the bell icon for future notifications update. Thanks for watching. To change your